Howdy fellas, Uncle Sasquatch and Jake. Just want to give you an update today on the uh, Ten Dixie Gunworks Tennessee Mountain Rifle, which when I got it, it came as a percussion gun. and was also sent the uh, flintlock to convert it to a flintlock rifle. Now in order to do that, you had to do some inletting because the main spring and some of the other lock parts were a bit thicker than the uh, percussion setup. So I ordered chisels. Uh, I'd never done any inletting before. I'd finished rifles and kits. But uh, most of you that have done that before and had a little practice with it, it's probably a 10 minute job for you, but it took me a considerable more amount of time to accomplish that feat. Removing wood just a little at a time, inletting black on the parts and just keep finding high spots. Other areas that needed uh, wood removed from them. And also I ran into the profile of the back of the lock was a bit different so that required a little bit of filing and as well the trigger bar was a whole lot thicker on this splint setup than it was on the percussion. So I finally got, after much trial and error, got it together. Uh, still have a little bit of problem with the trigger bar profile as it's a little bit too thick and it will not allow the gun to stay on full cock. Uh, without setting the trigger because uh, it's just too thick still it's hitting the set trigger so I got to do a little bit more work on that it uh, turned out pretty good I think for a first timer uh, kind of know what I'm doing now got everything fitted up everything's looking good thanks for watching keep your powder dry mind your top nut pilgrim